y'all. Happy Kids Club Night. We started the new series this week called Sing, and we're learning some things about God. God is so wonderful and so amazing that people like to sing songs all about God. Some of God's people sang about songs, and they loved him too in the Bible. Those songs are called Psalms. They're in that book called Psalms in the Bible. This week's big idea is I am wonderfully made because God made me. Um, Sunday, we read the Psalm 139. Tonight, I want to read Psalm 104, verse 24 for you. It says, Lord, you have done so many things. You've made them all so wisely. The earth is full of your creation. God made more things than we could ever count. And he was able to do this because God is very wise. That means God is very smart and he used all those smarts to make us awesome. Every time we look in the mirror, we can remember that God designed us and he thinks that we're a masterpiece. We were especially created by God. Whenever we look at each other, we can remember the same thing. Isn't that awesome? Well, who's ready to see Carl this week? Let's see how he explains Psalm 139 to us. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. <laughs> hey, what's up, you little chicken nuggets? It's me, Carl, <laughs> and welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Ah, look at that nose. It's like a volcano with two openings. Those commenters were right. This thing is massive. Hey there, guys. I have some bad news. Your friend Carl, he isn't perfect. In fact, he's pretty unperfect. In fact, he's not even close to perfect. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> now you're probably sitting there thinking, but Carl, you are perfect. You're a very funny, talented, and handsome human being. But newsflash, y'all, I got flaws. Don't believe me? I wrote down all the things that are wrong with me in this here notebook. Number one, my eyes are too big. My eyes are too small. My hands flinch sometimes. My elbows pop when I stretch. One eyebrow is bushier than the other. I yawn every time I eat peach yogurt. The mole on my neck looks like it's Iron Man. Sometimes when I think too hard, my eyes start to twitch. I'm afraid of blue markers, and I don't know why. I have three kneecaps. My fingers smell like onions a lot. And finally, the hundredth reason why something's wrong with me, I sometimes get really scared of long hair. <laughs> so now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna do something fun. Create a better Carl. I wanna take this here notebook and this marker and draw a better version of me. All right, I'm gonna do a chiseled chin. Chiseled. Very chiseled chin. How about no glasses? No glasses. Very refined eyebrows. Let's do a little short hair. Nice little little short hair. We'll do uh, medium sized ears. A very defined nose. How about a good smile? <laughs> I do have a good smile, so I don't need to do that, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And how about a refined mustache? <laughs> and lastly, really big Muscles. Really big. Muscles on muscles. My muscles will have muscles. All right. That's it. There he is. The better Carl. Doesn't he look great? Carl, how you doing? Sonia. Hey, y'all. It's my friend Sonia. I ain't too bad. What's up? Oh, nothing. I just wanted, um... What is that? Oh, this? I just made it. Okay. What is it, though? It's me. It's you? Yeah. Well, technically not me, but the better me. What do you mean, better me? Well, this week, Sonya, I was looking in the mirror, and I was just overwhelmed. With what? Well, I was overwhelmed with how imperfect I was. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You're surprised you're not perfect? Well, yeah. Carl, none of us are perfect. Never have been. What do you mean? 
we are imperfect people, but we were created by a perfect God. And it's because of God that we can find worth in who we are. You really think so? Of course. I mean, look at Psalm chapter 104, verse 24. It says, How many are your works, Lord? In wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Wow! So out of God's wisdom, we were created? Absolutely. You see, God has created all the animals on this planet, all the oceans, all the mountains, and all that we see, yet we were created in God's image. What does that mean, though? Well, let's read Psalm 139. I'm on it. Holy moly! Right? It's good stuff! That is so cool that God sees us that way. Even though I see myself as imperfect and full of flaws, but to God, <laughs> I'm wonderful. Yes! So there's no need to look at yourself and think, I need to change this so I can be liked, or I should do this so I can be loved. There's nothing we can do that will make God love us any more or any less. That's crazy! I mean, it says in Psalms 139 that God knew me before I was even born. And then it said I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. That makes me feel so much better. It should. We should all know that you are wonderful. And I am wonderful because God made me. Wait a minute! That's our big idea! Today's big idea is that I'm wonderful because God made me. And I'm singing because our theme is sing. Did you see how that connects? So let's say it out loud together on the count of three. One, two, three. three. I'm wonderful, I am wonderful because God made God. me. Wow, I am wonderful. Yes, you are. And I am smart. Absolutely. And I am the most invincible human being on this little planet we call planet. Well, I wouldn't go that far. What? Nothing. Have a good week, kids. See you next time. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Roadhead. Right. That was awesome. I love to watch those. So who's ready for our discussion questions? Discussion question number one, what are songs? Well, they are another word for songs. And they're a book in the Bible full of those songs written by some pretty cool people. This week's song, song that we're reading is written by King David. Question two, name some of the things in Psalm 139 that it says God already knows about us. Well, it says, you know when I sit up, when I stand up, you know the words on my tongue. What else? What else can you read in that that it knows? How does Psalm 139.14 describe how we were made? Do you remember? Well, it says, I give thanks to you that I was marvelously set apart. Your works are wonderful. That's right. We are marvelous and wonderful. Psalm 104, 24, it says that God made some other things in the world that are wonderful too. Do you remember what they are? It says so many things and that he made them wisely. He said the earth is full of his creations.
Sometimes people don't like how they look or sometimes something else about them. How do you think this song can help them? I think it can help them because it tells us how much God put an effort into making us. He put, took time into making each one of us so special, so awesome. He says, you are the one who created my most inner part and knit me together while I was still in my mother's womb. That's pretty amazing. So tell me, before we go tonight, what is the one thing about yourself that you're most thankful to God for? I'm thankful that, hmm, I'm thankful that I can craft and make things because I like to make things for people. That's what I think I like to do. I'm good with making things with my hands. And I thank God that he gave me the opportunity to do that. Let me know what you think about yourself. What is the one thing you're thankful for? So let's end our night in prayer, okay guys? Dear God, we come to you in praise again because you are awesome. You are just so amazing and we thank you for loving us the way that you made us so wonderfully. Help us to love one another and help us to encourage other people to love themselves and to let them know that you made them fearfully and wonderfully too. We want to thank you for all you've given us and for all those special things that you do for us. Please be with us as we finish out this week and help us to be a good friend to each other. In your name we pray, amen. And hey guys, before we go, don't forget our memory verse for this month, Psalm 95, one. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout also to the rock of our salvation. All right guys, have a good rest of the week and I will see you on Sunday.